This is the speed we got after optimization 100 for desktop 97 for mobile and this was the speed before optimization 58 for desktop and uh, 39 for mobile. So if you will watch this full video till the end in this video I have taught you completely I have told you complete process about converting uh, this website with uh, 39 uh, pr uh, performance rate on mobile and a 58 performance rate on computer desktop uh, to uh, uh, that 97 performance on mobile and 100% performance on uh, the desktop. So if you want to learn the complete process, watch this full video till the end. And in this video, I'll be showing you the complete process. So this is basically one of my client's website and will be converting this, uh, not converting, but we would be optimizing this website within a few clicks and will be optimizing its speed. So right now, let's just go and uh, just perform a speed test to just assure uh, that uh, what's its uh, uh, speed. But before just that, let me just tell you that I just tested it out uh, uh, first and then I just removed that plugin and now we are just doing it all from scratch. So what should we do is just click on analyze and it's just analyzing the website speed and here you can see 47 is on mobile and uh, 66 is on desktop and here we are on website let's just reload it to just give you a proof that it's working the website is loading uh, and here you can see the website is working live and before just that make sure that you have uh, subscribed to my youtube channel and clicked on bell icon why because I used to share different speed optimization wordpress digital marketing and online business tutorials that you, you can benefit from and also don't forget to check my courses below in description or or you can check out my Udemy profile regarding freelancing online business courses and also subscribe to my newsletter if you want to get awesome uh, uh, newsletters on weekly basis which um, with the knowledge which I share nowhere okay so to just optimize the speed of this website what you have to do is just first we'll need a plugin called uh, 10 web booster so what you just have to go do is just go to link in description or just type in webifiedhub.com slash 10 web so after clicking on, uh, on link in description or typing in webifiedhub.com slash 10 web you would be uh, redirected here uh, to the 10 web home page then you just have to click on this 10 web or go to uh, the products and uh, you can just go to uh, this uh, page speed booster and here you go and uh, then you just have to click on get started for free and uh, then uh, what you have to do is you would have to sign up with a 10 web booster because they would uh, be optimizing your website server based with your AI with the AI not just uh, uh, this is not just a, a plugin unlike other plugins they would be optimizing your complete website on their servers using their uh, softwares okay so now you would have to sign up uh, you can sign up with email or you can sign up with Google so I'll just click on sign up with Google and I'll uh, sign in with my account uh, uh, email that is already uh, on uh, 10 web I have already signed up so I'll just click on uh, it, this and uh, it would uh, redirect me to the dashboard because I have already signed up so here you can see uh, um, they got me an existing account so I have already signed up here you can see first one is create a website here you can create a website uh, there are, are three features uh, with 10 web right now first one is you can create a website uh, you can clone a website very easily by just typing in the link and you can copy the website design then uh, optimizing the website and then migrating the website this is because I have their uh, pro version but you will just get this one optimize your website this is absolutely free you don't have to pay a single penny for this so you just have to click on optimize your website then click on download and connect and you will be able to download the WordPress plugin absolutely for free to optimize your website speed so this is the plugin that would be downloaded and after that plugin is downloaded you just have to go to your website and just go to your dashboard and after going to your dashboard here you go we are on dashboard right now by the way this website is uh, right now hosted on site ground and you can see the speed um, on it but with site ground we'll just uh, um, like crash it and we'll just convert uh, the speed of the website okay so then you just have to go to plugins and just click on add new 
what you can do is you can just upload a new plug upload that plugin you downloaded or you, what you can do is to do it easily you just have to uh, you can just type in 10 web booster and you will get the plugin here as well the uh, uh, the reason i just asked you to sign up here because uh, you would have uh, you would need to have an account so first of all you just have to create an account uh, to optimize your website via uh, 10 web servers and uh, then just click on install now and after clicking on install now it would be this is a, a 1 to 2 MBs plugin so it would install very easily within a matter of few seconds and after it is installed you just have to activate it and after it is activated it would automatically redirect you to the dashboard it would automatically optimize your website it would automatically do each and everything basically uh, you just have to click on sign up and connect and it would do automatically all the things uh, right now okay but uh, this uh, video is divided into two seg segments first one is uh, the front end optimization and the second one is uh, front uh, back end optimization if you get 100% uh, results with front end optimization then there is no need of back end optimization but if you would get about 90 95 score and you need 100 then you would have to do back end optimization as well and that is uh, uh, paid okay you would have to pay some bucks to 10 web to do back end optimization right now it's an analyzing your current score then they would optimize your front end then they would compress the images and then they would calculate the new score and uh, I'll pause the video and get back to you will get back to you after uh, everything is done because it's uh, a bit time consuming it would take three to four minutes and I don't want to waste your time so here you go after optimization uh, we have received the results so right now it's not optimized well but I'll tell you the reasons why it's not optimized and uh, we'll fix it okay so first of all the desktop, uh, desktop score it was 63 before it but after optimization it's 67 and uh, the mobile score uh, that was 45 and now it's 50 now we'll cross it just click on manage and from here you can just go, uh, go to the settings and uh, after going to settings uh, from here uh, you can just select strong or extreme it's on you and just click apply and uh, after uh, uh, applying that settings just click on clear cache click clear and uh, it's getting cleared and now the cache is cleared and uh, now again we'll go to our website uh, page speed test and I'll just click on analyze and here you go and you can see the results uh, now uh, before it was uh, not 90 on mobile it was not 92 on the desktop but right now you can see uh, the largest uh, first content full paint is on 0.4 seconds and uh, the largest con uh, uh, content full paint is on five seconds only on desktop and uh, when we are on mobile and here you can see the largest content full, uh, content full paint is uh, just after 1.8 seconds this is great internet speed what uh, you got after uh, using uh, this tab, uh, 10 web booster but if uh, you didn't find it helpful or you want uh, something like uh, a boosted speed what you can do is you can just go to uh, let me just go to dashboard first so here we are at dashboard just click on manage just go to settings and from here you can just move on to extreme or strong uh, just start from uh, uh, extreme if your website works well then uh, uh, be with it and uh, your website uh, speed would be super fast but if your website breaks on extreme then go to strong then go uh, if uh, it doesn't work then go to balanced and then if uh, that doesn't work go to standard but uh, start with stream click apply and uh, then what you have to do is you just have to clear everything like clear the cache check it if the speed is good uh, go with it but if you find speed is 90 92 and you are looking for a 90 uh, like 100 percent speed then what you have to do is you just have to click on uh, the backend optimization and you just have to migrate your website to uh, 10 web uh, web boost uh, uh, 10 web hosting okay let's just uh, go to google and search for 10 web booster pricing because i already have their premium version so uh, let's just go there and let's just check about their pricing what's their pricing plans what are their pricing plans so here you can see 
these are their pricing plans so first of all they have personal plan you just have to pay ten dollars per month and annually it's a uh, 120 dollars and if you will apply uh, Khadeen, um, uh, Khadeen 10 you will get 10 percent off the coupon code okay now here you can see you have a uh, site creation you can uh, duplicate any site then you have drag and drop builder responsive design theme builder storage uh, and 99.90 percent uh, uptime and a lot other things and the best thing is 90 plus page speed score and I hope 99 98 or 100 okay so these are all the things that you will be getting uh, with this uh, pro plan and you don't have to buy hosting then if you are on any hosting you can migrate your site uh, to 10 web hosting how to do it just go there uh, in hosting performance click on migrate and optimize click download plugin and after clicking on download plugin you just have to go to your website and uh, just go to dashboard and you just have to upload this plugin to your website let me just share with you how to do it so here we are and just go to plugins click add new and after clicking on add new click upload plugin select choose files and uh, down from downloads upload that uh, 10 web manager and uh, it would be installed within a matter of few seconds because it's a really really light plugin so it would be installed uh, in a bit so we are just waiting for it to be installed and uh, here you go the plugin has been installed and now just click on activate plugin and the plugin would be activated and after the plugin is activated uh, you will be redirected to there again uh, the 10 web dashboard and uh, your website in full uh, is in full control of 10 web uh, they will be optimizing your website migrating your website with free uh, website migration uh, that's not free with any of the hosting but with uh, 10 web now congrats uh, your site is connected to 10 web dashboard just click on done and then just go to hosting performance and uh, here just click on migrate and optimize and uh, now you just have to select a subdomain uh, now you can select any subdomain and you can just then uh, uh, do it like uh, you can add your own domain name as well or you can just request for manual uh, migration uh, you can do manual migration for first of all just select a server from here any server you can select or you can just uh, it depends on your audience location mostly uh, like uh, uh, if you are uh, you, or your audience are mostly from USA you can select USA or they are from uh, China Thai you have Taiwan you have Netherlands you have India you have Australia UK and um, a lot uh, Germany okay let's suppose my uh, audience is from Germany so I'll select Germany and I'll just click on migrate and if it would take a bit to be migrated not a bit uh, a bit of uh, like uh, a lot of time like uh, to, um, uh, almost four to five minutes uh, to be migrated and now it's migrating uh, they are saying the migration is off your website to web is on its way so after this uh, website is migrated you will see the immense amount of website speed and uh, that would be boosted and your website would lo um, like load uh, like a bolt so I'll pause the video and get back to you after it is migrated. So while doing uh, the migration, it said that it failed due to some reason. Maybe host is blocking it. So what we have to do is we have to do the my manual man uh, migration. How to do it? Just select the subdomain, select the data center, click next. And here you would have to add your uh, cPanel credential. So this is cPanel and uh, like let's suppose this is a website so uh, your website.com slash cpanel you would have to go there on to cpanel and uh, all your details would be there and what you have to do is um, you have to add those details here uh, the uh, cpanel username and also the cpanel password and uh, then you would have to click next now i'll just pause the video enter the details and we'll click on next after adding cpanel details you would have to add uh, the wordpress details like your website.com slash WP admin basically this uh, stuff backend stuff is not required but if uh, you have not achieved the speed you want then you can do it okay now I'll add the username and password I'll uh, pause the video and again I'll click next now here we have the hosting details website details now just click on agree and then click request 
so now the request has been submitted and someone will contact you through email and they will import your complete website but uh, the manual migration is something uh, that would boost up your website speed and you would have to pay some bucks for it but if you don't want to pay bucks and you want to be on that hosting then i think that hosting is enough for you as you can see the results here for mobile it's 90 and for desktop is 92 and uh, uh, after some time i just tested it again and for desktop it was 98 and for uh, mobile it was 94 so i think that hosting speed is enough for your website and uh, uh, 10 web booster uh, uh, a free plugin can uh, provide you a lot and if you need 100 things 100 percent perfect then you can go with the free version so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you liked the video and uh, see you in next video till then stay safe take care goodbye love is assalamualaikum